Uh, and so again, uh, you don't see many movies of this anymore, but uh, some of the old medieval armies and battles. Uh, the Romans were especially famous for this. Uh, a lot of people like these great big swords that two two many you've probably seen in movies. These guys got a sword, it takes two hands to pick the thing up and wield it. The Romans didn't do that. They used short swords. They used it mostly for stabbing, but you could also slash underneath. And all you really needed to do to your enemy is slash the, the, the leg muscles, and they were out. They were down, and you didn't care. You know, you just leave them behind and go. Uh, and and you could do it either on the front or on the back with the hamstrings for, for easy targets. Right back here. Slash right across here, and that person not going anywhere. <laughs> okay? Get back and get away. <laughs> Whatever they're doing. Okay, so those are the hamstrings back there. Now we're going to turn it over this way, and right here is a very short muscle connected to a long fascia. Okay? The short muscle here is the tensor fascia lata. It's a little short muscle. And then the fascia that runs from that all the way down to the knee is called the iliotibial band or tract. ITB or ITP. Iliotibial band or iliotibial tract. Because it runs from up near the ilium okay, down to the tibia. Iliotibial tract. Where the name comes from. Okay. Now, looking at this from the front, we have first two muscles we're going to look at are the sartorius and the gracilis. The sartorius is this band that comes across the leg. Starts on the outside here, trend goes kind of across at an angle of the leg to the inside of the knee. Okay. This is the sartorius right here. This thin band like muscle. Medial to that, over here, or right along the inside of the leg, is the gracilis, which starts up here again from the pelvic bone and runs down the inside of the leg to the knee. So we have the sartorius and the gracilis. Now, underneath those are what are called adductor muscles. This large one right here is not the magnus, which you might expect. It's in fact the adductor longus, because it's a longer muscle. This is the adductor magnus here. Adductor longus, adductor magnus. Now, uh, after those, there's another muscle on there labeled pectineus, which is a very small muscle. It's not labeled on the model. You gotta look, you know, look through the book just to make sure they never label that muscle. But you can see a small muscle right here going underneath the, the artery, vein, and nerve. And kind of like these two going across, there's a small muscle right there. This would be the pectineus. These are all adductor muscles. Would that one be like right here on this? Well, see, the way yours is labeled, yeah. Yes. No, let me see here. No. They have it on 13.2 on page 200. Yeah, they also have it on 13.1. They label the pectineus, but uh, your text, uh, your, your model labels that as actually part of the psoas major. So it's not really oh. clear uh, which one is the correct uh, label. Uh, you just go by what's in your book, actually. Uh, and we can, uh, we can go with that. And this would be the, the pectineus here. That's the one. We'll go with that. So we have three adductor muscles. Magnus, longus, pectineus. Okay, pectineus so does not have the word adductor in front of it. Okay. The other two do. So that would be deep to the line? It's underneath the sartorius. Okay, so it's underneath the sartorius. And the sartorius is in place you can't see. Okay, the last the rest of this, the bulk the big bulky muscles here. <clears throat> are the quads or quadriceps, which are actually four muscles, quad. Okay? This large one right here, five ten eight muscle, okay, and the fascia down the middle, fibers joined to either side. This is the 
rectus femoris. So again, remember we had a rectus abdominis. We also have a rectus femoris. So again, we use the word rectus. Have to get the two feet in one. Rectus femoris. Okay, then we have three muscles that all start off with the same name. They're called vastus muscles. This is medial. This is the vastus medialis right here. This is the lateral side. This is the vastus lateralis here. And then you have the vastus intermedius, which is underneath the rectus. And you really don't see it well in this because they, and actually even in the cat where we're going to dissect this out, you don't see it all that well. But it's this muscle that lies right here in the knee. And this is the, the uh, vastus intermedius side. Those are your those are the quadriceps. Okay, the rectus and three vastus muscles. Okay. And then we'll do the last one. And I'll give you about ten or fifteen minutes, you know, fifteen minutes or so to go back over all these four again that you have a cabinet and I'm just gonna kind of go over. Okay, the last part then is are the calf muscles. When you're dealing, remember when we were looking at muscles on the back here, we used the scapula as kind of a reference point. Uh, okay, and then we went, you know, so we had the supraspinatus, the infraspinatus, the, the carrying, the glutes, uh, and so on. Okay, on the calf, we use two reference points. One reference point is this very large muscle on the back of the calf. It's really hard to miss. This is the gastrocnemius. Right here. The other reference point we use is the tibia, right here, the bone, which is actually pretty much exposed on the medial side there, uh, which is why when you get hit from the shin right about down in here, it's pretty painful because there's really nothing, no muscle there. It's just skin and the bone. So those are our reference points. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to start with the gastrocnemius, and we're going to go to the medial side, and we'll come back to the gastrocnemius, and we'll go to the lateral side, from one reference to the other reference. So the first muscle then is the gastrocnemius right here. And down here. The muscle that's underneath this uh, if I take this off, you can see it pretty well. Right underneath here, this muscle under here. This is the soleus muscle. So we have the gastrocnemius, and underneath it is the soleus. The soleus, you can see on this side right here. On the other side, you can see it right along here, but it's underneath the gastrocnemius. Both of those muscles come together on the calcaneal tendon right here. So those, they both are attached to that tendon. So gastrocnemius, soleus, and then you'll see that there's primarily one more muscle before I get to the tibia. If you follow that muscle down, and we're skipping a lot of smaller muscles in here, just like we did in the forearm. But if you follow that down, you'll notice there are cord-like structures on the end of it that actually come out on the bottom of the foot. You can't see, these are attached to the smaller muscles, but they actually go underneath that, and they come all the way down to the toes. And just like up here, we had flexors. This is the flexor digitorum longus. When this muscle contracts, it pulls on those tendons and causes the toes to curl. So on this side, then, we have the, the three basic muscles. Gastrocnemius, soleus, flexor digitorum longus. And that's attached to the, is that attached to a bone or no? Yeah, well, they're attached to your toes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we go the other direction. We start off with the gastrocnemius again, the soleus. And then we have this muscle here, which is actually two parts. 
uh, on your thing here, it's called the fibularis or peroneus. Either name is appropriate. The fibula is right underneath that muscle. There's actually a long part and a brevis or short part. We don't provide them up here for our purposes, but we have this is the fibularis or the peroneus over here. The next muscle we come to, if you follow it down, you'll notice you see all of these tendons running across the top of the foot, and this is the extensor digitorum longus. So just like in the forearm, we had flexors and extensors, we have flexors and extensors in the foot. When this contracts, right in here, it pulls on the top of the toes, making them straight or, or extend. And then there's one more muscle before I get over to the tibia again. And this is the tibialis anterior muscle. So there are either three or there are five muscles and cap, depending on whether you're going to the medial side or the tree or to the lateral side. As you go work your way through the gastric kidneys around to the tibia. And that's that's all the rest of the human muscles. So I'm gonna go get some stuff in my office and you guys can have uh, some time to there's some other legs back there that have been taken off. Got more of the muscle guys.